One of the most interesting features with NPM 5.2 is the binary that was installed, as you can see here, NPX. So NPX allows us to execute commands that we don't necessarily have installed on our machine. So for example, if we wanted to use the CowSay project to essentially have a cow say a particular set of words, we could have cow say, say hello, and you'll notice that if we hit enter, we get command not found. And that's because we don't have the CalSay project on our machine. That is true, we could install it by saying npm install calsay-g, or alternatively, as we're running npm 5.2, we can actually say npx calsay hello. And when we execute this, we won't actually get an error this time. Instead, it will execute the package and the result of the package will appear on screen. You can see we now have a cow saying the word hello inside of our terminal. That doesn't mean it's installed the project. For example, if we want to try it again, we do get command not found. So it's a one-time executable. And what this allows us to do is try out packages quickly and conveniently on our machine without having them installed. So some popular use cases for this are things like create React app. So we could say npx create React app, and then of course specify a name for our project and so on. So this is how we'd upgrade to NPM 5.2 and of course take advantage of things like NPX.